Hello guys, this is going to be an unboxing of the ODAC or the Objective DAC and DAC pretty much stands for a digital to analog converter and pretty much what this does is basically a chip in pretty much any audio source that you can have such as your mp3 player like an iPod, your smartphone like, in, you know, like your Android or your iPhone, anything that gives off an, an audio signal for your music or your anything audio related has a digital to analog converter embedded inside of its circuitry. So what a digital to analog converter does is it basically takes the digital bits from the storage media and it essentially converts it into an analog signal in which then an amplifier takes that, amplifies it, and then sends it to your speakers that could be within your headphones, your earphones, or the giant speakers that you have next to your TV. So what sets the objective DAC apart from the rest of the DACs is essentially it's an audibly transparent DAC. So what that means for those who don't know is that it imposes no sort of coloration to the sound. It's pretty much audibly transparent like I said earlier. So the distortion levels are, you know, significantly low. The, uh, the, the frequency response is pretty much flat from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz which is pretty much within our hearing range um everything about it that can you know induce a sort of coloration or distortion or a your pretty much a euphonic or an audiophile taste to the sound is pretty much non-existent in this digital to analog converter whatever you you know whatever the music sounds like is what this and is what this DAC is going to essentially give out to the amplifier so it's whether it's up to your amplifier that can also you know maybe color the sound or impose like the same sort of trace as the ODAC which is why I have the objective 2 amplifier let me get it right now this is it right here so this amplifier, I did a review on it previously. So this is basically the uh, the the companion to the ODAC. So they're both audibly transparent devices. So now what it leaves it up to is the speakers to color the sound. And you know, speakers are always going to have their you know their harmonic distortion characteristics. You really can't have an audibly transparent speaker. So now let's get to the unboxing of the ODAC. All right, so I ordered this from JDS Labs, which is located in the US. All right, and I also ordered a FIO L2 line out, which is a 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter cable. All right, let's put this back to regular. Alright, within the package you have your invoice or your packing slip, which basically, you know, anytime you order something online, it just gives you this to give you a brief overview of what you've ordered and, you know, all of the information. And let's get to the actual important part. It does say premium headphone amplifiers. Um, basically, what the ODAC is, JDS Labs is not responsible for the the schematics or the actual blueprints of the ODAC. They're not responsible for initially creating the ODAC. They're just responsible for rebuilding it for users who are not, you know, as skilled in terms of soldering and other electric, uh, pretty much electronic intensive applications. So you pretty much buy a pre-built ODAC, which is going to cost you a bit more than if you was to build it your own. So in this box, Wow, this thing is very small. You have the ODAC essentially. Very, very small. So this is the ODAC. Let's put this aside for now. Let's get to the other packaging. You have a simple, uh, this is a USB cable with a ferrite, which I believe is used to help reduce some of the high frequency noises that can enter the DAC stage and then pretty much enter your music so it, it helps filter out some of the noises um it's gold plated which really doesn't make a difference if you guys can see all right and you have the instructions so 
this requires a bit of know-how in terms of you know altering the the audio settings within the operating system that you're going to be using whether it's Windows XP Windows Vista or 7 or 8 or the Mac OS operating system so this is basically a screenshot of if you're using Windows you simply just set the um, the device um, output that's going to be taking the output of Windows and then you just set it to that or you can use a media player such as FooBar which can bypass the Windows sound drivers and then by itself output audio to the connected um, ODAC. Alright so let's get to the ODAC itself which is once again a lot smaller than I thought it would be. I have to get a scissor to cut this but here's the ODAC. It's incredibly small incredibly small so all it really has is a mini USB out this is a self power digital to analog converter meaning that it is powered by the power running through the USB cable alongside the digital bus and you have your 3.5 millimeter output which is a line out I do not recommend pretty much you know even JDS labs is not recommended to plug your headphones directly into this output because it's, it doesn't have the electronics inside to you know efficiently and capably pretty much drive your headphone speakers so you're, you're gonna want to have this plugged into an amplifier such as this which is the ODAC I mean not the ODAC the O2 sorry so that's pretty much it it's a simple design very straight to the point but it's audibly transparent so I'm gonna have a review on this in about a week or so um, if you guys have any questions or comments on this unboxing that this unboxing may have not covered, uh, please feel free to ask them in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video guys. Later.